Hi, my name is Dave Campbell. I want to talk to you a little bit today about stretching for a marathon. Um, after, always do about 12 minutes of easy jogging to get your capillaries open to warm up. And then before your hard workouts or before your endurance workouts, you can do some active stretching where you emphasize uh, opening up the hip, some simple leg swings. 10 per leg is a good number. I'm trying to get a little bit more out of each one. And you can rotate the foot at 90 degrees to the other foot, opening the hip, 90 degree play in the other direction. Some forward lunges, emphasizing knee lift. Again, trying to get a little bit more height out of each one. And another simple drill is pawing to emphasize striking on the forward part of the foot and get that forward extension. Those are great active stretches for before the workout. After the workout, a real simple uh, yoga routine. We call it the sun salutation, um, where you start with just a simple tall stretch. Stretching afterwards can be really, really helpful for your recovery for the next day. And then dangling to stretch the hamstrings. And it's real active so that you don't get that cold, static stretching effect. Alligator pose, cobra, downward dog, focusing on lifting the hips, gently pushing back with the hands, bringing your heels down, stretches the calf. This is called a pigeon pose. It's very effective at stretching the hip. Never force a pose. Always just gradually let your body relax. You should do more and more in these. You'll be able to get more out of them. And then you can go from that to a lower back stretch. So you can real quickly and simply, probably a five minute stretching routine. And I'm going through them quickly so you can see them all, but you should hold them for each for about 15 to 20 seconds. And you can move into a hip stretch. You can get all the major muscle groups. Back to a downward dog. Go through pigeon pose and lower back stretch with the other side. In between each you can do an alligator and a cobra. Stretch the lower back. And then real quickly when you're done with those, you can do a groin stretch and a double quad. Again, allow 15 to 20 seconds on each one. Come out of them. Do some simple yoga poses. Looking up. And then slowly roll up the spine. Back into a tall stretch. And hopefully you're feeling a lot better and you're ready to uh, train hard again the next day.